I had a nice garden shed at my old house, but now that we've moved to a new house, I need something new. This one worked wonderfully through all the seasons, but what have I decided to do at the new house? Let's see. Now here at the new house all along, I thought this little garden shed would be mine. Nope, it's for mowers. But again, it is a long walk up to the house for this, so that probably wouldn't work for me. But we settled on the basement. The basement would be perfect. It's cool. It's a walk out right on the deck. Now here is my garden shop. We've got it mostly set up. I don't know of anything else that I need to do at this point other than just organize, organize, and organize. Now that's the door going out onto the deck, but I have all kinds of shelving in here, big work table. I'm going to be doing some painting on some deck chairs outside, but you can see how I have a lot of room down here. We've got some of our just folding little soccer chairs out so that I have seating down here. And that's the furnace air conditioning unit. If it pops on, I'll probably have to make a little cut here. But that little portion of the basement opposite me is for storage, for all our Christmas, canning supplies, everything. And then that doorway over this direction goes into the finished side of the basement. Now on this side, through that opening, we're planning on putting a sliding barn door there to separate my husband's side. He's got a workshop area for himself, and I've got my shop side, my garden shop on this side. But, oops. Coming back from the doorway here, that's that same work table that I had at the old home, but we've carried it inside to work in here, and the same planting and potting table that I had next to, let me think, was next to that little garden shed outside and the fireplace where I worked. But I've got more shelves, I've got some of the instruments hung there, and do plan to do more. But I've got a lot of shelving, and then a lot of shelving here for some of my molds and big boxes that I can make my tufa in. And again, now we're back over to where the door is and the opposite side of the room where the Christmas things are stored. Now I have a wagon, that's an old wagon. We have several of those where we can carry things in from the deck, truck them in, truck them out easily. But I really think I'm gonna love my little garden shop. And especially with it being right on the deck, that should help me tremendously. Now there you can see my um, dirt, my soil container which was that old utility sink. I've used every bit of that soil because we did transport my soil. I hated to lose it, but now I need a refill. Netic bar up here where I can hang most used tools. And I'm gonna install another one because I got a lot more tools and I wanna keep my favorites and most sharp ones up here. Now I have my vermiculite. I think I have a little perlite over there. Peat moss, I'm getting very low on peat moss. So I need another package of that. And then I do need to grab some Portland cement so I can get started. But there's a lot of shelving. When I make some of the tufas, I can let them cure in here 
as opposed to being outside. That way they'll stay cool, and I think that would really, really help in their stability, etc. I only have just a little bit of light coming in from up here, but out here is the deck. I've got a lot of room out there and a lot more boxes. Now here's the finish up to the um, outside on the deck. When I come just outside the walkout basement door, this is onto a fairly large deck. I don't know its measurements, but I have a lot of uh, our work table out there. Basically, it's the little table that we eat our uh, cookouts on. Got to clean that in between. Pooper scooper sitting there. We've got a dog, and that's my. Um, baby sun rose there in that aquarium that my son took care of over the winter. I have pinches and pinches of that to plant this year into my pots. Then that's the swinging back around to the um, inner door to go back into the garden shop. But there is a slight overhang above me so that I'm protected from the sun for this first portion, about the first eight feet because there's a screened-in porch above me. But out here, I have all the new plants that I've purchased. This is some of the take-homes from the Meadowview Garden Center that I've got to put into pots. I've got some um, rosemary that I want to make a little cone tree out of. But out there's the pretty yard that I can work in the morning sun when it's not too hot. So I think this works out perfectly for me. Thanks for watching.